All right, fish on. Hey, welcome back to the second episode of Fire Island Catch and Cook. Just wanted to say thank you everybody for your support on the first video drop. I really appreciate it. I'm brand new to YouTube, so a lot of this is, is very new to me. And I plan on improving the channel with every video. So all of your feedback means a lot to me. Today we're gonna go out and we're searching for striped bass still. So in my last video, I caught that holdover fish. Now we're at the end of April and there are striped bass and they're here to stay. I'm seeing a lot of bait around the area, so I think that we're gonna have a really good striper season this year. A couple of things uh, and feedback I got in my last video that I want to address. When I was mentioning sea lice, for everyone that's watching for the cooking content that isn't an avid fisherman, sea lice is a parasite that attaches to striped bass. It does not kill them. It does not, it, it, it doesn't make the fish inedible and what happens is they have to eat, the sea lice likes to eat blood and mucus and skin, which is kind of gross. It's an indicator to fishermen that the striped bass, the migratory striped bass are now in our area. So it's not bad. It won't keep you from eating the fish. It just tells us that the striped bass are now made their way up to the Great South Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. The other thing I want to address is the type of tackle that I was using. So this time or this time of year, we like to use soft plastics. So we use artificial baits right now. So what I was fishing last time was actually this color, but this is the Fishaholic Finback Shad and a one ounce jig head on there. And I am not paid to say this about Fishaholic. Shout out to Rich, I like your videos, but I just actually prefer the tackle. I get it from J&H which is a local local shop for us over here on the south shore of long island so yeah this time of year we're not using live bait we're going to get into all of that later this season when we're going to live line and we're going to use bunker and that's very a very fun way to catch striped bass i typically do that out in the atlantic ocean so yeah so these soft plastics are great another thing that the striped bass love and oh, oh, this also goes for weak fish and blue fish and pretty much any fish that you're going to catch at the great south bay I've even gotten. Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, she said yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's Weston's, and he's asking if she said yes because I just proposed to my now fiance on the back of the boat this past weekend, which is why I have no voice. So back to what I was saying. I've even caught fluke on this, which is a little odd. Pretty much anything in the bay is gonna is gonna eat that. The next thing is the SP minnow, and everyone from Long Island, we love our bone colored SP minnows. So this is a great this is great for a striped bass, but also bluefish. I like using this for bluefish because they have their really sharp teeth, and they'll just chew this tail right off. And of course, we have our poppers. This is also great for striped bass and bluefish. The poppers are top water, so it kind of mimics a bunker sitting at the top of the water, and it's got a nice rattle in it, so it gets all the fish attention. So th that's some of the tackle that I'm using today. I'm gonna be throwing the soft plastics and the SP minnows and hopefully get on some more stripers. I also know that there's weak fish back in the bay, which is awesome. The other thing is I went out and bought a brand new Dexter fillet knife. I got the feedback and I agree with everyone that was saying it. My fillet knife was a little dull in the last episode. So Dexter is the best. Again, I'm not paid to say this. Dexter fillet knives are wonderful. But right now I'm gonna get out to the fishing spot. We're gonna get on that fish and I'll talk to you guys later.
Nice little schoolie here. Definitely not a keeper, but a beautiful fish. Fish on, baby. All right, this little guy's fighting. Second one of the day. Potentially in the same spot, I think. I went back and did another drift. Oh, oh, he does not want the boat. All right, get over here, bud. Oh yeah. There we go, our second schoolie. He's a tiny guy, how big is he? Twenty-three inches, second schoolie of the day. No sea lights, let's get some more. All right, fish on. Number three for the day. Oh, he's a little guy. Little, little, little guy. Itty bitty baby. All right, little man. Let's get you back in the water. Today's session was a lot of fun. I got on three schoolies and unfortunately, I didn't catch a keeper, so I don't have anything to cook for this episode. But stay tuned, because I have a lot in store for this upcoming season. If you like this video or my other videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. Next week, I'm gonna be doing a t-shirt giveaway, so follow me on Instagram. It's Fire Island Catch and Cook. Stay tuned for the details. I got a lot coming up on this channel, and I'm excited to share it with you. Thank <laughs> you.